What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I was ill prepared for that entrance. Yeah, that's what, that's how I get you. Is this a pack? What's going on here? Is it? Oh, it's like it looked like it wasn't. The bar wasn't full. I was like, why isn't the bar full? Oh, it's just hovering in front. We're gonna traditional Ravnica allegiance draft here, and we're gonna try to do better than the uh, than the unfortunate one. D Wait, what is this? I don't like this at all. Oh, card is busted. We're gonna try to do better than the one. The 2-2 two, two, and like the 1-2 we did yesterday, which was pretty brutal. The enemy is gone. Thank you for moving so eloquently. <laughs> the enemy. <laughs> All right, we're taking ethereal ab absolution because this card is bonkers. I don't know if that was necessary. I don't care. It was good. We're going to take Ministrant of Obligation because this card is great. This is one of the better afterlife cards because it has afterlife. Dose. Uh, I don't, I don't know if this guy is great. This guy's probably a Rakdos guy. Actually, it's pretty good with the, all the afterlife cards, isn't it? You just get to keep hitting for three. This card did some work yesterday for someone. I don't know if that makes it good. I don't think it does. Sphinx of the Guild Pact is cool, but it's a seven mana card. I think we're just going to take the Infiltrator. It also becomes a 4-2 unblockable dude. With Theoral Absolution out. I like Guildgate. Otherwise, we're taking like mediocre two drop, Justishers, Justisher. I don't know. Or we can just take, you know. Your face is a four two unblockable dude. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. It's awkward. It's been awkward for my my whole my whole life. So you know. If, for those of you watching, I do apologize for my face. Has to offer? 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 Has to offer? We're doing good. I think it's just another guild gate. I like two guild gates. Oh, a 3 1 with lifelink? That guy can do some damage. 5 3 with afterlife 2 for 6. 6 is a bit expensive. Wow, two people forgave me in the chat already. That's pretty gas. I'm gonna take the Viscopa Vampire. I like the I like the life gain. Uh this card's not bad. I do like having it exposed today. I'm not sure if I like it over either of these. Like the life gain here is actually it probably is pretty relevant. And this might be better than just one three flyer. I'm gonna take the two two. If we can get a couple of these and like a bunch of afterlife guys. Ooh. That was a pretty easy Viscopa Vampire. This is just a Viscopa Vampire for, for one mana less, but it also doesn't have lifelink, so. Nevertheless, we're gonna take it because we don't have anything else to take here. Oh, another portal, sure. Whatever. None of these last picks were good, but they were very red. Tome of the Guild Pack, eh? I also don't hate a gate a gate colossus. This guy was really strong the other day. Tome was actually MVP when me and Rob were playing it. We only have two gold cards right now. Split card is splashable, but it's not great. Like, I don't want to splash the second half, and the first half's not very good. If the first half was the last gas card, I would probably take it. But I could still probably just take Summary Judgment over it. I think Gate Colossus is pretty strong. I don't know if we're going to have... Like, I think if you have three gates, Gate Colossus is... A three gates in play, Gate Colossus is good. I don't know if we're going to have that. Like, our sealed pool had ten guild gates, and I think that's a pretty big deal. I think it's either Tome and then just hope we get a bunch of Orzhov gold cards. Or it's Summary Judgment. This is also fixing. I'm going to take the Tome because I think there's a bigger chance of getting uh, a Judgment at some point. I do like a Consign to the Pit. Ooh, Consecrate Consume. What is this? Exile card from a graveyard. Okay, don't really care about that. It does cycle. Target player sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures. You gain life heals. That's actually pretty good. 
that's usually gonna yeah like consume is usually just a, a four mana consign and you have the option of exiling a dude too that's fine i'll take that we also got a literal last pick consigned to the pit yesterday so i don't think those are super hard to grab no gold cards we really care about here except for sphinx but we're not gonna obviously not gonna we're not we're not in the business of taking a sphinx here i think we did we get an expose no we can still get one. I think I'd just rather have the Undercity Scavenger. This guy seems like one of the most uh, Orzhov cards, Orzhov cards, because of the the ability to just sack one of your guys and then, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Grasping Thrill. That's a good one. Also gold, which is nice. Cruel Spellbreaker? Fascinating. Sky Tether is nice. Has Defender and loses Flying. This is just a straight removal. I mean, like they can still block your ground guys, but I don't care about giant. I don't mind scavenger. I think it's actually just sky tether here. I would really like to take gruel spellbreaker. But I already have four, I believe. So I'm just going to take the sky tether. So I'm not going to take it for like 20, 20 gems or whatever it is. Ooh, summary judgment. Nice. Solid removal. There's an expose. Uh, when it enters a battlefield target creature with flying you control, gets plus two, plus O. Oh. Actually, don't have a an unreasonable amount of flyers. You have uh, Syndicate Messenger. This guy. I guess we have two. But I guess we also have a bunch of Afterlife guys. This is also just a 2-1 flyer for three with, with Flash, which is pretty decent. Uh, Noxious Greedian's nice to have. I can deal with that guy. This guy has some afterlife. Do we just maximize the afterlife, guys? I don't think so. Oh, Carnival came back. Portal came back, which we already have. I'll just take the Carnival, just in case we actually get, like, Rakdos Guild Gates enough to play it. I'm not in love with Inheritance. I don't think it's actually that great. And it's four mana for this. I, I don't think that's really where I want to be. I'd rather just have the Twilight Panther. There's the expose we we're hoping for. I'll take the inheritance, and if we get like, I mean, like, how many do you have to have to play, and like, how many four, how many four mana of those are you playing? Breeding pool, huh? Okay. I'm telling you. All right, I believe you. I believe you. We can get another spire mangler. I don't think foreboding spirit is that great. Hmm. Hmm. Are you in? Pa are you seriously in Paris? Was that what that Mona Lisa picture you sent me was? That's insane that you just casually went to Paris and you didn't actually you didn't actually even mention it. You didn't even tell me that you were going to Paris. I would have went with you. I think it's just Spire Mangler. God, I would love to. I love to rare draft the uh, the breeding pool, but it doesn't even work on here. This pack's also not great. I guess Dead Revels is nice. You can get back two of your guys. I didn't think that picture was photoshopped. I didn't think it was the actual Louvre. I just thought it was like. Uh, I mean, it's not hard to find an imitation of the Mona Lisa, man. Oh, I do like a consign. I don't think we have actually that many expensive cards either. We have like one six drop here. I feel like a board wipe for the sideboard is going to be actually worse for us than than for them. Here's another inheritance. Man. A birthday present from your roommates? A pet trip to Paris? That's unreal, dude. That's gas. It's either summary or consign. I think it's actually consign. We have a summary judgment. I think just, just, just being able to destroy any creature is pretty strong. I do like having one consign as well. Being able to go Tome on five and then Sphinx on six is also pretty nice. I don't think we care about any of these other cards. Was that the Sphinx making that noise? Oh, Impassioned Orator. I actually like having other two drop here. All right, and our deck is pretty much done.
final payment is nice. Ooh, let's take final payment. Now our deck is no longer done. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of like the two one vigilance guys that that have afterlife. Like those guys are like the bread and butter here. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Rakdos Guild Gate. Uh, drill bit's not terrible. Rally to battle's not great. I'll just take the drill bit. Can sideboard steal a bomb. How many three drops do we have? Quite a few. But double spymanger, Gridian, blood mist, ministrant, double vampire. Yeah, our three drop slots already pretty stacked. Yep, don't care about you. Do we have a third guild gate? I'll just take a third guild gate. Take another expose, I guess. Oh, actually, this is with three guild gates too, isn't it? Oh, that's rough. So we actually need one more playable. We'll have to find one on the sideboard. There. This is what you get when you after, when you draft a, a rare that you have multiples of that you have a, that you already have five of, I guess. So Sky Teller's good. Twilight Panther's fine. Double Orator. How many creatures we got? Let's find out. Fourteen. I wouldn't mind putting in one more creature. Everything else seems good, though. I'm pretty much on board for all the rest of our cards. Do we have one portal in the deck? We do. Okay, that's nice. I like. I, I just like having one. Do you guys really like Inheritance? Am I just like missing out something? It's not like, is it triggering something? I don't understand. I'll just play the Inheritance because you guys are really on board with it, but I don't get it. All right, here we go. I mean, I'm all for trying things. I tried Wilderness Reclamation yesterday, so. seems fine. Any land we can play this guy. We already have a two drop and a removal spell. Yeah, we can deal with it. We can also just exile a, a card from a graveyard to draw a card to hit a, a, a swamp. Twenty thousand gems is a hundred, so you just saved ten cents. I did. It's really the value that you get here. Oh, a territorial bore off of that. Not ideal, my friend. So we can play this and skip our two drop, or we can just play Impassioned Orator. I think we're just going to leave with Orator here. Because there's still a chance that we can draw any any white land lets us play this, any black land lets us play this or this. So. Oh, pre release in Paris team is great. This is the perfect time to show you the video to chat. I promise it's safe for work. Okay, hold on. Yep, that's Elk Terrace at the Louvre. All right, seems good. Like you do. Oh, uh, I don't feel like attacking is really in our best interests here. I think this guy's better on the board long term. 
Different experiences Rakdos in this run. I haven't actually drafted any Rakdos decks. My problem isn't I, like I think two life point swing every turn is great. Um, my problem is that it costs four mana. I don't know if I kill this guy with a summary judgment. Maybe I block and force a trick. Wow. That's how you two for one, boys. Get her done. I could feel it. I could feel they wanted it. So this dude, not really, I mean, I'll just trade with either one. I feel like they're gonna kill this guy over this guy, so. No attacks? No blocks? Aggressive. Yeah, I feel like this game's probably over, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't know. Are you higher on gates this time around? Are you not liking them in Guild's Draft unless you were splashing? Um, no, I like them in Guild's Draft. I didn't like them in Boros in Guild's Draft because you don't actually need them. And there was no turn in the Boros deck. Me and Josh had a, had a conversation about this. There's no turn in the Boros Draft, in the Boros deck, where you wanted a land to come into play untapped. You know what? Sure. This is a block for me. Elk Tears at the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Feels like feels like longer than 11 months in a row, but I will take it. I, uh, I'm not going to read this because um, I my French is pretty bad. Sure. I mean, we had a feeling that they were going to do something, so. I want to put this inheritance down just because you guys are loving it. No, like, yeah, like, my Rakdos decks would often have, like, two guild gates. And the reason you want the guild gates is because you have, like, especially if you have the four color guys, like the green, green, black, black guys, or the white, white, black, black guys. Uh, it makes it so you don't have to awkwardly guarantee draw, like, two swamp, two planes. Because that's not that easy to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what are we doing here? We can attack with everybody. They block here. They take two. We also just deal four, and they're dead on board. Are they just dead? Are we just gonna kill him? <laughs> Submit. Thank you. Oh, uh, BFC! Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Ten months in a row, two months in, a, in our one-year anniversary. 
I don't think we have to switch anything out here. I think we're all right with what's going on. We're playing Tuna Clam, which is clearly a Simic. This person is clearly a result of the Simic Conclave? Simic, Simic Combine. Is it Simic Combine? Nailed it. God, I'm so good. This hand's a little rough. We have six drop, seven drop, and two lands. Four drop. Three, three, four, five. Three, three, four, six, seven. Two lands. Yeah, this one's better. I missed the sub. I got BFC. Oh, pronunciation for dummies. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. I would have thought Elk Tears subscribed long before me. Yeah, it, it seems like it, right? I just feel like Elk Tears is like... I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Elk Tears are forever. What should I eat? What should me and... So Mike had to like go into work between like 4 and 6. They asked him to come in for like a 2 hour shift today, which is kind of silly. What should we eat when he gets back? What should our dinner tonight be, guys? Tuna clam! Oh my god, it's Hungry Howie's live on stream time. I'm so excited. That's a message that Elk's Tears sent me with the, like, um... So there's, like, this this thing on iPhones that you can do. Oh my god, it's Hungry Howie live on stream time. Blah! Yeah, it's... He's, he's really special. He's... Just. Okay, so I don't know what's going on here, but our opponent is not, uh, he's not, he's not competing. Frank and maybe by Vision A, what have I missed in this stream? Are you strictly drafting new sets in Arena now? Uh, not necessarily, no. But I feel like there's a smoothness to the Arena drafts, and eh, I'm going to be honest, I don't hate it. I would have liked to land here so we can play this and then guarantee play one of these next turn. I actually think Eyes Everywhere is just fine. I actually went over this in the server the other day. The reason being that, like, scrying every turn is pretty good. Like, being able to scry every single turn is a, is a decent effect. And if you consider scrying, like, 0.5 cards, then you're drawing a card every other turn, which is fine. But then on turn 6, like, it's really hard to play around it. Right? Like, we they could steal, like, the, if, if they get 6 mana, they can actually literally trade their Eyes Everywhere for our Ethereal Absolution, and it's, it's kind of a blowout. I mean, I think we're in a position right now where it's fine. But in general, um, being able to, like, activate this in the late game. And a lot of times your opponents can't actually give it back to you. So you just get to keep it. And they get to scry every turn now, but they steal, like, your best thing. Like, I think this card is actually pretty good. It's slow, but it's not like it's not doing anything on the on the ground. Dimitri, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Five months in a row. Wow. Oh, this this old song and dance? Alright. Sure. Well, now I know this gets to resolve. Probably. Don't quench me, bro. You're gonna quench me, really? <sighs> you ain't got no class. Yeah, it is exchange control of eyes and target non-land permanent. It's pretty nuts. Like, it's actually very, very good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's very, very good, but it's good. 
this is definitely, uh, I mean, like if they, the problem is if they steal this back, like right now they have one blocker and they go to two and they're just dead on board to consign. I'm just going to play this. If they waste their turn stealing this back, we can sign and they die. They also have to hit a land here, so... Do you think they would print a card that lets you look at your opponent's hand then force them to cast one of their cards, like, an action? Not really, because... So, magic cards tend to be self-contained, right? Um... It's hard to make an opponent force them to cast their card, because there's a lot of... There's a lot of rules complications there. Like, who spends the mana? Like, what mana do you use? Like... So we just kill you here. You know, like it's it's what if they don't have the mana to do it? Like maybe they card they cast that card this turn if possible. But like do they do they choose the targets? Maybe what if it said like what if it said look at target opponent's hand, you may cast one of their cards this turn. Like that's probably better with like without paying the mana cost. Because then you get to choose things. Like, because if you're just forcing them to cast like an abrupt decay, um, I feel like it's kind of a, a narrow situation. What's Mind Claw Shaman? Oh yeah, you may yeah, but see then you're you're casting it, so you're choosing the targets, and then you're also not paying the mana cost because if you had to pay the mana cost, like it's kind of awkward because it's got cost five already. I always look up Mind Claw Shaman in like in the browser when it's probably just infinitely easier to just look it up in the chat, which is right in front of me. Um, two drop, three drop. Yeah, we're definitely keeping this hand. This hand is pretty gaseous. The Roomba has started and the cat toy is also on the floor, so I'm in an awkward position where I kind of want to go get the cat toy, but I'm also drafting, so. I don't think we attack here. Like, I think this guy just gets better when we play Ethereal Absolution. Ideally, we draw three drop, then four drop. And then we can go and then untap land. Three drop, four drop, untap land. Let me go grab that while we're waiting. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be long. He's 100% going to knock it down. I know it. Whoop. Okay. It's our turn, huh? Well, we don't have anything to do, so we'll just play this. They killed our guy with a skewer, sure. Well, I would love for some cards that were not lands at this point. <sighs> yep, like you do. Oh, 
Oh, we should have done it the other way. I'm so stupid. Wow, if we kill the other guy, we could actually kill the boar here. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> How's Hunter Day still today? He was a little sick earlier, yeah. Uh, he still had the diarrhea all morning. He woke me up at 8, then at 10, then at 1. Oh, wow. That's a good one. That's a good one. So we can go land, play this guy, and actually XL a card from a graveyard. Oh, God. If you had one dude on board, it'd be so much better. Can't, yeah, that was such a such a big misplay. I mean, we could pretend like we just drew this. This guy's also like the perfect foil for this. I think I. I mean, I, if I have one flaw in terms of MTG, and I do. It's that I play too quickly. That was interesting. Are you gonna fight? You're gonna fight this guy. Yep. All right, well, it's a two for one. And we still get a chance to deal with this guy. And we get one more token out of the graveyard. Yeah, we're obviously blocking here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come on, really? Nine lands. Two five spells. And you get haste. That's fine. Oh, doesn't this die immediately? If you don't get haste? Okay. Pass two attackers. literally have to have to block because if we don't hey that was actually a great draw okay three three sure actually a two two Unfortunate, because I don't really want to block this guy. We're just taking two here. No blocks. Oh, wow. We could have actually stolen the shark. And then, yeah, that was... that was. Oh, my God. We're doing so well right now, guys. This card is pretty bonkers, yeah. Okay, hold on. Something's going on out there. Got him. Oh. Hold on. Let's get rid of this guy first. Well, this guy's fine. Obnoxious, but fine. And we still have a timeout left? Uh, 
minutes pass. This is pretty ridiculous. Actually, probably should have been more aggressive their attack with the flyers too. Like, I assume this is going to be their first target. They're going to remove the counter here. But then this guy dies and we can just get another one. So it's really not that great. Yeah, I put the cat's toy up on a shelf. Uh, he saw me put it there. So then he went to get it. And uh, then the Roomba ate it up. And now it is destroyed. So, unfortunately, Kitty Cat lost his toy. <laughs> the, the problem is these guys are, are such good traders here like we trade here we get another guy back we trade here we get another guy back we can double block here they kill one and we get another guy back like yep that's fine and then we get another guy back so it has to be a 1-1 one -one. these out of here. I wish it was in order. Like, this should be on the top, right? Alright, well, that's a thing. Two attackers. Oh, they're just gonna they just concede. Alright. I kind of like drill bit here. Don't care about expose. I don't think there's any sideboard cards that I'm really like super excited about. I don't mind dead revels really. Actually, dead revels could be good here. Probably better than inheritance, especially when they have sunder sunder boy. Oh, uh, I actually don't hate this hand as much as I should. It has all the lands. Plus, it has a removal spell on a creature. I'll keep this hand. We're on the draw. We get another card. Oh, they let us play first? Why does everyone let us play first? This is a draw first format? That doesn't seem correct. Like, this is great on the Sundering Giant. I don't know what I don't know what that dude's called. Sundering Giant? Sundering Titan? It's obviously not Sundering Titan. If they have Scorch Mark, I'd rather them kill this guy than this guy. I think we're just taking two here. As a 2 1, like, we can actually just play this. Actually, it's... No. Play bird. Like, bird seems good, because even if they skewer the skewer the thing, we get a guy out of it. If they want to attack and we block, and then they scorch market, it's still two for one, so... Two two with riot and menace. All right, so he's not coming at us now. Impassioned orator into ministrant is not bad. So we can go orator here. Can I take your orator? This guy. Gain a life. Attack with these two. Sack this. Their, 
at 12 already, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 unblockable. Seems good. Oh, I guess it seems too good. Where's the church noise coming from? I don't know. We're playing Orzhov, so I assume that it's somewhere in the game. Give me my 200 coins. We're doing it. Yeah, I assumed it was from the guild gate. Oh, uh, this is fine. Double orator into vampire and with a final payment and an under. Yeah, this is fine. If we can get like one afterlife dude, like our favorite one, the two one. Actually, we don't even have to sacrifice. We just take five here, which will probably like we gain one and then we gain two. Oh, that's a good draw. Like, we gain an extra life if we play this now. We'll gain one extra point off of this. But I think it's actually just better to play the other guy. Do not quench me, bro. Do not quench me, my brother. They did not. I kind of just want to take five to kill this guy because we're gaining three back anyway. Like, we can play Orator and then kill this guy. Because now we're, now we're racing. And we go back up to 20, which is pretty gas. So they block here, they take four. I think this is actually a fine attack. They have nothing and they're like, we're just, we're just putting more guys on the board after this. Three, three, that could potentially be a four, four at some point or five, five rather, or just play two, two. I think two, two is probably better here. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll order them like that. Sure. For 25,000 life. A bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I do not think it will. So they're dead on board, and the consign also kills them if they can deal with the guy. It seems like a pretty sweet Orzhov deck. Orzhov. Orzhov, if you will. Will you? I don't know. These are the questions we ask ourselves. Well, that's not what we want to see. You block here, you still take this many. So you go to one here? Okay. And then consign still kills you if we hit any land that's not a guild gate. I will not. Wow, that's rude. Oh, isn't that cute? So you go to six. We kill this, put you to four, and then you're dead. Land. I see. I see. Well, what's happening right now? We are uh, 
uh, it appears we are losing control. I mean, if you want to trade these two, what game all day? Um, put one on top. I'll keep one land just so we can consign the next creature they play. I mean, we can, just not right now. out for something stupid i'll kill it and you'll be dead josh 15 months in a row thank you so much buddy really appreciate it welcome back moan frere that'll do Correct, consign cost two extra. That's why we have not consigned it for ages. Oh, uh, I don't really see anything we really want. Maybe drill bit again, just because it is nice at uh, like nabbing a sphinx. Take out the portal, perhaps. Your opponent goes first. drill bit and try to steal their their best guy chillbringer is okay consign is good grotesque demise good lock it sentinel's mark might be the most obnoxious card what's in our hand no not really we have final payment i don't care about that i don't care about either of these the exile is kind of annoying Like, we can deal with whatever they put this on. I don't care about the locket either. Also, making them sacrifice a dude. Yeah, let's just get rid of the exile card. Because now we can just play Undead Scavenger and it's fine. I 5 it with the Draft of the Rizrov. I don't know if it's the most powerful, but it's definitely, yeah, like, it has a good feel to it. Like I don't want to, I want to get rid of your creatures because I don't care about them. Like we have a lot of ways to deal with creatures. You got it. You're a chill bringer. So now you have six mana consign, a sentinel's mark, and that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm probably going to final payment this guy. And then consume this guy next turn. Nope, that's not what we want to do. This one. I don't like that it's counting down. I'm actually making the clicks here. We go to six, but that's fine. We're going to gain three back. So we actually go to eight. Or nine, rather. I don't foresee us blocking with that guy. I wish this this guild, this guild locket wasn't over here because it's really awkward to like... I thought they only had four mana and then I'm like, oh wait, there's a locket over here. There's an awkward locket over here. You can sign this guy. Oh, we're not blocked. We're not attacking anymore, that's for sure. Oh. So you know both of the cards in your hand? That's pretty good. I'm okay with that. Oh, heartbreaker. Why do I have this in my head? Is there a card that sounded like this? Um. Sure. I think we for sure win this long game, so I'm, I'm kind of like willing to trade one for one with guys. Also, this guy gets significantly worse if you don't have another creature. So if you want to consign to dream this, that's fine. I mean, we have, there's a lot of cards we can draw here. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. Draw a card, then discard a card. The loot is pretty good, though. Just play this guy and sky tether this. I kind of want to consign this thing though. I just don't want you to have the loot effect. So they have to like sack another dude to make this a relevant defender. That's pretty good. So now you just put this on here. You once you consign to this guy, and we take three, four, five, and then we're just dead next turn. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Like having leaving Senate Guild Mage on the board is pretty rough, though. I don't know if that's a. I don't know if we're gonna win the game. If we do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So even if we draw Ethereal. Admonition? I don't know what the card is called. We still wouldn't have enough to play it and activate it. Yeah, that's a yikes for me, dog. Alright. So we take three and then they can sign something. We're just going to go to the next game. They have a lot of really versatile two drops, which I'm not thrilled about. Elgon Inheritance seems pretty bad. I'm gonna be honest. I'd rather probably have like Watchful Giant. I'm gonna keep trying it though. We played it once. I think maybe if we stick it in this in this in this matchup, it's fine. It just I feel like I'm just playing for a, a four mana card that doesn't do anything until the next turn. Oh yeah, snap, keep this hand. This is great. 
If we draw two drop, I'm even, I'm even more excited. I have Soundgarden's Outshined stuck in my head, which is probably one of their top three songs. A lot of you guys in chat are going to be like, what about Black Hole Sun? And I'm going to be like, just stop. We could have actually played Ministrant into this guy and sacked the Ministrant. That would have been nice. They don't have any blue, right? I see you. If we can hit land land, I'm going to be real thrilled because I mean, next time we can go scavenger sack this guy into absolution, which makes, which seems very, very good. Uh, Black Hole Sun's music video should have scared you both as, an, as a child and as an adult. So. I had a feeling you would not block that. Let's get our scry on, boys and girls. Yikes. I don't want either of these, unfortunately. I just want lands here, because now we can play 5-drop into Absolution. Which, as you can imagine, would be pretty bonkers. That's what's known as a cool dude. Come on, land. Come on, two lands in a row. Well, that's not a land. That's awkward. Actually, we can just shoot this dude, right? Let's do that. I guess we can do that next turn, but I kind of want to just play Grasping Thrill next turn. Now you know who gets to survive. You sound insane. Who sounds insane? Did I say that? Did I make a joke? What's happening right now? We can shoot this dude. Oh, it has vigilance. God dang it. Why does it have that? Why is magic so hard all the time? Eh, whatever. So we're just going to draw a land. We're going to play Grasping Thrall. It's a great blocker. And then we're going to play Ethereal Absolution. And just kind of damage that player discards. Sure. That guy's never getting through. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Is this real? We've put two on the bottom. So in the top 15 cards, there have been four lands. Why? Oh, am I getting a two for one? Oh, that's great. Let's do that. Wow, if we had the Justicia's Judgment there or whatever. Oh, that guy has Afterlife too. Oh, well, Biscuits. Whatever, we got Absolution. We got Grasping Thrill. Yeah, that's fine. Ain't really got time. There we go. Now the question is, do we play Tome or Grasping Thrill? Tome is better because in the future, Grasping Thrill gets stronger. However, I think it's actually Tome because it guarantees Absolution next turn. If also, if this is what you counter with the... Actually, you don't have... Hey, you have blue. All right, it's fine. Let's 
Uh, who gets to survive? Four, five, six. Yeah, no attacks. This might be a time reblock, but I don't. I don't know. I hope they tap out for like a seven-one. Is that a thing that we can do? Well, they get to draw a card at least. That's nice. This is also when you cast, so it doesn't actually have to resolve. Although, boy, do I want it to resolve. <sighs> yes. Gain your eight. Absolutely brutal. So now you know who gets to survive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, if we hit another land, we can start exiling two creatures a turn, which is exactly how many you have in your graveyard. That seems pretty busted. Sure, tapped out one of these spirit boys. Them spirit boys are at it again. <laughs> yeah, just tap down the life gain guy. Probably a solid strategy. Why isn't Meundies why isn't the, the Meundies command not working? That's weird. Uh, just this guy? Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, that was pretty good. Show me the phone. Also, wait, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can actually play two of these guys, which is also pretty good. I think I just want to eat creatures right now, though. I'm actually happy trading with any of these guys, so. Yeah, that's fine. That's just another, that's just more food. More food for you, boy. I think we'll actually just, well, they have two floaty boys. I kind of want two floaty boys of my own. We have Summary Judgment. Do we play land this turn? I believe we did. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Next turn we play this and another guy if we hit a land. Or make a guy. So I'm, I'm going to play this, draw a card, try to hit another land next turn. Oh, that's a good dude. And then we'll just end the turn. Because now we have eight life here on board, which is pretty hard to deal with, I have to assume. That is a 2-1. Who gets to survive? Oh, pass to attackers. Fair block. Fair block. And now I get more guys. Yeah! Oh my god. Did they really not did they not realize I could do that? That would be insane if they were like, oh, well, maybe if he doesn't know he can make one ones, we could be in good shape. Ooh, a vindictive vampire. Are we 3-0? Yeah, we're 3-0, right? We have three wins. We're going for the fourth win right now. Yeah, we're going for our fourth win. I mean, that was a shame scoop, but at the same hand, like, they're likely not winning that match. Keep this hand. That's fine. Spud Muffin, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Six months in a row. 
that's where you want to be. This enchantment is literal bullying. I, I feel like that's... Oh, let's not end our turn. That would be a yikes for me, dog. I like how we can play one mangler at the end of the turn, attack for two, and then play the other one to pump the other one. Ooh. It's only flyer. Target creature with flying gets plus two, plus seven. All right, sure. Hmm. Kid Cabbage, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Here's something interesting. What's a creature with multiple abilities? Let's say Baneslayer. So here's something interesting. I'm going to see if I can show it to you guys real quick. I, God, I really don't want to. Um, what is happening right now? They tap this to play this and they play Guildgate. All right, sure, pass. Pass to end of combat. Let's play this guy. Target yourself. So if you look at Baneslayer Angel, I can't bring it up right now. Baneslayer Angel has flying, first strike, lifelink, protect from demons, and protect from dragons. The only uh, ability on Baneslayer that is capitalized is the first one. Flying. And then the rest are separated by commas. Oh, this can actually adapt itself, but then we just get to kill it with this. Hmm... However, Spire Mangler has Flying and Flash both capitalized, which is interesting because there might be a new change where they now capitalize all of the keywords on a card, uh, which was not previously done. Hmm. That is fascinating. You can tell I'm a really big friggin' nerd. Look how fascinating that is that the cards now have, oh, um, you know... Uh, this guy has a reach. Oh, that's unfortunate. Defender and loses flying, but it doesn't lose reach. Why not cast a second flyer at instant speed? Because I wanted the, the plus two plus oh. Hmm. So I guess we're going to have to wait here. Unfortunately, I want to use this, but we actually can't just slam into the Reach guy. Alright, fine. God. That's the one thing I don't like about this, is that, like, it's just... It, I feel so rushed sometimes. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll go. I'm sorry. Oh. If they attack with this guy, we're probably going to take it. We could double block and then summary judgment when they adapt him, but then they still have two mana left over to do like some kind of other tricks, like squelch or something. Quelch, quelch, quench, quelch, squelch, squench. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's actually fine. One, two, three. They can still adapt this guy. Mm 
feeling California. Oh yeah. Nightdale Predator has some capitalized. Flying and Death Touch, Hexproof. That's interesting. What about Spire Mangler? I hope you don't have a second copy of this guy. That'd be pretty insane. Okay, they never do, but... Mangler has Flash and Flying on two separate lines. So it might not be capitalized because... But see here, it's not on two separate lines, right? It's just one after the other. That's interesting. I'm really not, I'm really annoyed that this is still alive. Well, now we get to actually kill that, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm looking at the physical art right now. Like the physical card says, flash, flash on the top line, then flying underneath that. I think we missed, like, just this guy being able to, to avoid all of our removal so far has been really problematic. I like that. If we played this first, it would have tapped both our black for it. But since we played this first and now it has a black ability, it left our one black untapped, which is pretty interesting. I can't believe both our Spire Manglers are, are doing just nothing. I mean, they can adapt to this guy, which is fine. Let's get a Tome into an Ethereal Absolution. I don't know if that's what that card's called. I, I literally have... Yep, you got it. One of the more innocuous cards you could probably play here. I had Todd Stevens play my Azorius Super Friends list and he lost the first match to the Nexus Fog and then won five matches in a row. Uh, I don't think I'm doing EDH tonight, actually. I, haven't, I didn't have any plans or any decks to play, so... This is kind of a good old-fashioned stalemate here. God, this card is just killing it. If I can draw final payment, I just be uh, sacrifice this, kill this, attack for four, have six power in the air. That's really where I want to be. When something is doing nothing, I say Nathan's hot dogs. Like that's doing Nathan's. What are you saying right now? I have no idea what that even means. Okay. It's a good one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So you can't put three, you can put two on. I don't know anymore. I don't either. I don't either. When I used to eat hot dogs. Well, that's certainly a thing, isn't it? Oh, 
was it 17? 17 counters. pretty good that's uh i'm gonna go to the next game that was impressive because they just have nine mana so they just actually add three more counters and like i am going to i'm gonna bring in this exposed to daylight take out the ill-gotten inheritance unfortunately it's not it's not where we want to be i kind of like drill bit too take out the portal bring in the drill bit why isn't the exposed in there? Oh, we have two? Oh, that's nice. I don't, I don't think we need two, but... That was impressive. I mean, they had 17 counters on that thing. I can't even, I can't even be mad, you know? It's, uh, what are you going to do? Sometimes you just lose to... Uh, Simic Ascendancy? What is he? What is he? I don't even know. Is that the name? I don't know. I will play first. I will keep this hand. You know how much damage this cat's gonna do? It's gonna do like 35, 36 damage, easy. It's not even close. You guys are gonna get to the, we're gonna get to the end of the game and you guys are gonna be like, how much damage is that cat? It's gonna be like 47 damage, it's not, it wasn't even close. It basically just killed, it killed them. They had nothing to do. And then you're gonna be like, hey, how, how did it even do that much damage? And I'm like, it's a cat, you know how it did it. We know, we know, I know how it did it. You know how it did it. Uh, you got it. Gruel Guildgate. I will pass. Let's go to my turn. I'm a big fan of my turn. You know what you need right now with that cat? Ill-gotten gains. You know, I'm not sure if that's true. I feel like those two are unrelated. Oh, look at this guy. Look, I'm a... I'm a 4-4. I see you. Oh, yeah. So next time we hit land, we can play Grasping Thrall. If we don't, we can just play Spire Mangrel Mangler on uh, one of our one of our floaty boys. The Gate Goat is very good. It's also a sheep, not a goat. So it's kind of rude that you guys keep calling it a, a goat. But, you know. To each their own. And this guy now has reach. All right, well. I guess we can take another hit. Because it gets rid of this guy. This guy didn't have reach too, right? Just vigilance and trample? Sure, sounds good. I would love another black here to keep up the death touch, but was not meant to be. <clears throat> we probably could have attacked with this guy because we're not going to block here. And they probably wouldn't have blocked because uh, we had the black up by the time they would have had to decide blockers. So... You know what's good against uh, the the flyers that we're trying to win the game with? A three five. I mean, we have thrall next turn. Like we can actually attack for three, deal two more. That's five. Uh, then we can consign to kill this guy. We actually, I mean, like we're in pretty good shape so long as they don't really muck up the ground or muck up the air or muck things up in any way, shape, or form. I mean, it's so thick. It is pretty thick. You're correct. This is where they go, uh, bionic distribution. Is that what it's called? I have no idea. I just made that up.
You got it. Styrofoam hybrid. How do we? How do? How do you actually tell the difference between a sheep and a goat? Uh, I read the the creature type usually tells you. This one says sheep. So we gain three here. My God, what a time to be alive! to survive why do I have the songs like a man I don't know I think the mangler is actually worse yeah if we can sign this guy we want to have as many blockers as possible so unblockable what a time to be alive you're five now my god wow and now we feel terrible about our life choices I mean, if they don't have a counter and they tap out for something dumb, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we actually just win with it. We hit a land. We hit a land. They don't have a counter. Done. I'm sorry, what? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Mistakes were made. 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Hmm. That's what's known as Xaxes. Now we feel bad. Huh. Well, that's... That sure is something. One loss? Really? An injustice has occurred, ladies and gentlemen. An injustice has occurred. I really need to get this song out of my head. Your opponent goes first. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of this. Just Justicia's portal. It has, just hasn't hasn't really impressed me. I guess when we play it on this thrall in this game, it's gonna be okay, but. Yeah, gate goat is probably one of the gate sheep because it's still not a goat. Still not a goat. Uh, is probably one of the most impressive cards I've seen out of the set. It feels weird that they didn't just make it a goat because of the alliteration and because it just it has a, has a roll off the tongue feel there. But you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, wizards, whatever you want to do. It's your goat. We're just living in it. You're living in the goat. Yeah, it's just as weird for us. Man, two drops for days. Okay. It's bad because... I don't want to not use three mana here, but I do want to gain a life. Get in the goat if you want to live. It's good. That is a good meme. Smells even worse on the inside. That's a good meme. Oh, yeah, but see, then you're like, then you're playing green, green, blue, blue, and white, which is kind of restrictive on the mana base, but I'm a fan of it nonetheless. Do I know? Do I just block here? I'll no blocks you. We get portal next turn. We can blink this guy. If we play, if we draw a land, we can go. God, we're so good at this game. Did you ever just wake up and you're like, how did I get this good at this game? And I, I don't know. Every day, it's a, it's the it's my struggle. It's my it's my it's my daily struggle. So now we get to blink this guy, give it first try, gain a life, and then block. Radio. Ship, see, ship sheep? Because you, yeah, well, everything's in ship sheep, so... You know, what can you do? Ugh. 
Let's pass two attackers. I'm game. Ooh, we'll pass to blockers. Actually, this is incorrect, right? It gets first strike when it comes back and then it's no longer blocking. Huh. Combat's hard. I guess this is still fine. I I'd rather I'd rather blink this guy anyway, to be honest. It's bad luck to go to sea without a ship sheep aboard. That's true. That's an old sailor's saying. You just gotta make sure everything is ship sheep before you before you head off to sea. You guys having enough of these ship these sheep memes? Is this doing anything for you? When it enters the battlefield, there's one image to each opponent, one image to each creature, sure. Do I, am I going to do anything? No. That was a good draw. I gained three again? Oh my god. Am I one of those sheeple who don't enjoy sheep me? How dare you? Have you have you learned nothing from the past five minutes? Well, that's a big dude. You have no counters? Alright, we're just gonna kill that thing. We could just sky tether it. One, two. We can sky tether this and still go spire mangler, which is pretty pretty pretty. That's pretty decent, I guess. I'm feeling Minnesota. These memes are pretty bad. You're not wrong. Wow. So we take four here. I think that's fine. The problem is, what is this guy doing for us other than, like, gaining life? I think we can actually block here. So now you know. Who gets to serve? This guy, uncommon, they have two of them. That's fascinating. This card's actually bonkers against us as well, because we make a bunch of 1-1s. One one Come on. Don't have a ridiculous trickerino. You have two mana. Hmm. I don't love this, but I'd rather deal five here. So we're actually going to take five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to take five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to five. I'd rather not use a removal spell on a guy that's already that's already busted up already. Already busted up already. They gave me a degree in English. Wow, that's incredible. Look what you started. Wow, that's great. That's great. Um, do we just block here? Is this... No, I don't think so. We can just go to four. Or take four, rather. Not go to four. Go to, going to four is significantly worse. <sighs> yeah, I think we win this. They have two cards in hand. I think if they had... They probably have, like, Scorch Mark for this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they had nothing? Oh, 
I mean, we can definitely five this guy, block the this guy, take one, two, three, four, five. I guess we block here instead. So we take five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, now I'm feeling real dumb. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we draw a creature, we can actually final payment this guy, get him out of the way, and, and then three, four, five, six. However, if they if they play any creature post combat, pass to blockers. Uh, we'll block there. I don't want to go to damage. I'm hoping I get a chance to use this. Okay. They didn't pump here, so we don't need to give Death Touch. They have one card. Of course it's a of course it's a creature. Actually. I guess we're in uh You gotta have it, I guess. Find a way to deal with this guy right off the top. Do it. Just do it. I don't think you have it. I don't think you got it. Never not blocking this guy. If you had a removal spell, you would have killed this guy instead. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. That was definitely a Jesus take the wheel pose. Uh, I don't want to bring a 3-1 because... Obvious reasons. God, we have so many X ones too. We have, uh, let's find them all. This guy, the two, the two one ones it makes. This three one, two of these guys, two of these guys. Our deck is absolutely terrible against all those. I'm gonna take out the Blood Infiltrator and bring in the two three. Probably want Dead Revels in here instead of like. ill-gotten inheritance. I just want to be able to get my creatures back after they try to wipe the board with all of them. Magic is hard, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, that ain't gonna do it. Oh man, our deck was doing so well and now we're like not doing as well. You know what? That's fine. We can play the Panther. It's whatever. I'll keep that on top too. I don't love it, but... Sacking the Sky Teller doesn't remove the... Well, yeah, okay. We can sack the Sky Teller to remove the blocker. That's a good point, actually. This is me, like, not playing around Riot at all, so. Oh, wow. I'm gonna vomit. Well, we're up a game, so. This cat is going to do like five. I've been over the course of the entire draft, obviously. It's ridiculous to think he would do it all in one turn. Yeah, of course you have this guy. And it has Riot. And I'm going to vomit. This is like just a shitty Chain Whirler, right? Eh, what if we took Chain Whirler, but instead of making it red, 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 we make it three in a red. Instead of a three, three, we make it a two, three. And instead of a... Uh... That's, I guess that's it, right? I guess that's the only difference. I would have put a counter on this. I don't think that. I think having a 3 4 is significantly better than. Also, Dead Revels is nice if we get a second guy in the graveyard.
And we'll say, let's say it doesn't hit Planeswalkers as well. Yeah, those are the differences. I think Michael B is trying to creep in here. Yeah, like, I mean, I can hear Hunter, but, like, he's like... <laughs> I'm like, no way. Hunter doesn't act like this unless someone else is in the room, like... Sorry, bro. Wow, just knock everything over. I don't know what to do. I'm probably just going to hold back. I don't really feel like playing this yet. Sneaky Mike tried. Try as Sneaky Mike, Mike may. Oh man, and he got a ride on that guy? I'll pass. I hope you attack with it. No, you can't because you, you didn't do a thing. Um, Let's actually block. Well, alright, that's fine. Look at Michael. Oh my god, this shirt's probably amazing on the green screen. Oh no, it doesn't look. Yeah, it kind of looks like you just got see through all over. Really? Oh yeah, wow. Like. Yeah, yeah, you're like you're. Oh, oh my god, this mic is intimidating. You just bring it on down, man. And then you just you talk into it. You know how mics work, man. Well, I know that part. Do you? I will target. Is it always on or do I have to turn it's it It's always on. Okay. Can you guys hear Mike okay? Can you guys hear Mike on his mic okay? This is not a reasonable card. Just so you guys know. What does it do? Uh, creature spells you control can't be countered, which is fine. But they also have Riot. What does Riot do? Uh, really? You don't know anything oh, about wait, this? that's the one where it's like haste or plus one plus yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, every creature. So if they already have Riot, it's also, it doubles, so they get Riot twice. It's like Cascade. Or they have Riot once and Haste, which is pretty good. That's still Riot twice. Yeah, that's fair. Because it's still part of the Riot. The Quiet Riot. Also, you have to talk right into it. You can't, like, it's not like a mic. It's not okay. a shotgun mic where you gotta okay. talk like... Mike got that chestnut praline latte. No, I actually got the. Um, he got it. He. It was the. It's like a cinnamon one. It's like cinnamon, butter something. A cinnamon a dolce. Oh no, not quite. It's a the dolce. Did I just make that up? No, that's a real thing. That's no, I like made that. it up. I came up with cinnamon dolce. Okay, stop. <laughs> You're the inventor of cinnamon dolce. Wow. I. That's pretty, what is this? Impressive. Why are you? Pay. Yeah, just pay the mana. What's What's the deal? I'm gonna have one left over. Just do it, okay. It just pay the mana, all right? What's a good banana coffee? That's a good question. Any coffee with banana in it. It's just not. It's not. It's hard to like. Well, you can move this as, as you just customize it however you want, bro. It's intimidating. I don't know how it moves. I don't know how you move. <laughs> very slowly. That's true. He's like he's very sloth-like in nature. <laughs> Do we have time to play ethereal? They go what? It's five, six, seven, eight. So we take six. Alternatively, we can play Vampire and Summary Judgment this idiot. I think that's probably better. All right, I think I've got it. Oh, that's good. good. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Wow, that's great. Look at you, man. I'll never move it. That's a good idea. Usually, like, it, the nice thing about the arms is that, like, you can move it in such a way where when you pull it back down, it's in the same place. So, you can probably do that. Yeah, you can probably lift it like that, and then when you bring it back down, Ooh. perfect, beautiful. Yeah, almost. Beautiful. Now this is where they're going to play another one of the... One of this idiot. Oh, no, they didn't have that idiot. That's great. Yeah, if anyone wants to try banana coffee, you want to get any frappuccino, any kind you desire, and ask them to blend a banana into it. It's really good. I'll blend a banana into you. Unless you don't like bananas, and then... And then it's probably not as good. Then you're probably not going to like it. 
This is a great block because next time we can go Absolution and this guy just immediately dies. He just dies. Oh, I see. We well, still gain three. It's whatever. That does give Trample. It gives Reach. Yeah, that's fine. Also, this latte was disappointing. I had to add sugar to it. Uh, it's called a slatte, not a latte. A slatte, sorry. Gosh, you don't know anything about coffee, do you? I do apologize about that. I don't forgive you. Not this time and not ever. Not this time and not ever. Wow. Okay, eventually maybe, but... Wow, this guy is humongous. We can sacrifice our ethereal absolution to kill this guy. Just so everyone's aware, I have no idea what's going on because I know like none of these cards. Oh, I like playing But it does look like you're dying. And you're it, at four. Don't tell me what I'm doing. Now who's at four? You. Oh, you're at six. Got him. I guess you gained two. I mean, we're still pretty low. I also gained from the context of that card that you just put on that creature that it can no longer attack or block. Uh, no, it can block. It has Defender and loses flying. Okay. So it just it's a it's, it puts him in ground town. You ever been to ground town? Yeah, man. Every day. You go every day? Yeah. God, no wonder you sleep That's right. so much. That's exhausting. <laughs> That's where what? What were you going to say? I was going to say I get my coffee, but I didn't think it was good, so I just left it. Uh, you could have made it coffee ground town. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah that's a really, I felt like that was a missed opportunity there. What did they just do? Did they fight? Sure. I think so. How are you, how you liking this format so far? I think it's actually fine. And like, okay, so this also has a format. Oh, did you know what this does? No. Our creatures get plus one, plus one. Theirs get neg one, neg one. Okay, and then for good. four mana, you can exile a creature from their graveyard. And uh, you get a you get a one, one flyer, which is actually a two, two flyer. Seems like a pretty good card. It's. I mean, the plus one, minus one is already pretty great. Yeah, so the other part is really just... Uh, you, just you just make two, two flyers. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty okay. What is this doing? Um, no, we're just going to final payment that. Oh, actually, we can just blink it. I like blinking it better because... Hold on, let's cancel. Is this... Target you control is plus two, plus two until end of turn. It fights target creature you don't control. Okay, so it's actually still going to go through if we do that. So we still get a 2-2 two -two out of it. And this guy dies. And then they lose their Savage Strike. I don't. I can't see what this card's called because it's... It's underneath. I'm like overdressed Smash. for the stream because of work. No man, no way, man. You're looking fresh. You got my new kick song. Did you ever hear uh, about the new kick song from uh, Foster the People? Yeah, it's not good. It's not pumped. You don't like the you don't like pumped up kicks? No. Wow. I've probably heard it too many times. That's probably why. That's that's yeah. That's definitely gonna do it. Let's get this guy out of the graveyard. Make a two two. That's a strong ability. Ooh, that's fascinating. I don't think we're gonna. Seems probably just over, right? I don't know how you beat endless two twos. Yeah, if they didn't have anything last turn, and we can just this is like bitter blossom only like. Smart not to attack the other because of riot. Well, we can make one more, but. Well, then attack. Get in there, man. Okay. Well, I'm gonna trust you. This is me trusting Michael Bar Bar Barbobly. This is where they draw a removal spell and haste guy and kill us. Or they play two haste guys. Yeah. I mean, they only have six, five mana. They don't actually have that much mana. Yep, that's fine. That's not going to do it. That's not something that props can fix. You got it, forest. Deal. Okay. Okay. Active auto. Let's go to this guy. There we go. That's what I wanted. Because now we can actually make a guy and play Spire Mangler. Does he spy on your opponent? <laughs> you know, maybe he does. Maybe he does. I'm just going to tag with two. I I, I ain't going to go crazy here. It's two turn clock either way, so. I would have played this at instant speed. Uh, or our main phase, rather. A sorcery speed, I guess. To pump one of these guys up for two. Um, but the problem is they have two of the, two of this guy, which deals one damage to each creature. So we just lose a blocker if they play it. So, oh, we could have Mangler plus Blink. That's true. But I, I, like, 
I'm not under the impression that they don't have anything in their hand. Like, they don't have land is the thing, right? So, like, they haven't they they haven't played land drops until they played the the search card and they had land drops. So, I'm not under the impression that like I don't know what they have. So, I don't want to go all in and just attack with everyone and play an X one, and then have them go. I bet they have magic cards in their hand. That's likely, I think. Yeah, I'm real smart. Smart. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Steal this guy. They're just dead. There's nothing interesting about this. <laughs> the red, oh, they do have black. Maybe they can kill somehow. Pass two blockers. Just block with both. I ain't gonna fall for any of your trample shenanigans. It's not an X one. Oh, it's an. It's not an X one. Wow. All right. Yep, magic's hard. There's a lot going on, guys. Yep, this is why we double blocked. What would this be? Five? So yeah. we block with two. What if they have a second one? Oh, God, I'm going to cry if they have two. If they have two collision colossus. Don't they already have one in the graveyard? Wow, they already have two. All right, so we take one here. That's a yikes for me, dog. Um, Okay, so you're killing one of these. You're tapped out, right? Okay, so we still take three and we go to one, right? Am I missing something? Uh, yep, all right. That'll do. Pumping it with the Spire Mango. Oh, because we could have fought it. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah, I'm just messing. I'm misplaying left to right because there's a lot of uh, complicated interactions. And I'm not super familiar with the format just yet, so. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, we're done. Winning at one. It's the best way to win. Like you do. That is actually the best way to win. Unless you win at zero, in which case that is better. Oh, a Deadeye Quartermaster. That can be done. What are you drinking over here? Uh, It's like cinnamon butter latte. Cinnamon butter? Yeah. That just sounds fat. I don't remember the name of it, like the actual term for it, the name of the latte, but they they were just like it said, it's cinnamon butter and something and vanilla. And I was like, all right, let me try that. It was advertised. Oh, it's like their their new so their, their feature, their limited time offering. Yeah, but unfortunately, it just tastes like a just tastes like a regular latte. It tastes really like a regular latte. Wow. I um, had a little sug to it. Now it tastes pretty good. A little sug, little sug night. A little sug night, yeah. Solid. Oh wow, two two no land hands. That's good. This is our d definitive match. Uh, we either go 5-1 or 4-2. And we have two no-land hands. Three three in a row. Three no-land hands in a Maybe row. Maybe a butterscotch latte. That might be the flavor. You know what? Keep them both. Sure. This is like the best hand you've ever had. Yeah. Do not add sugar nights to your drink. You will die. It sounds it sounds hey, accurate. Hunter. You're a little buddy. Oh, he was, he was also... he was his, his mud butt was acting up today, too. Go Hunter? Yeah. Oh no. He woke me up at 8 o'clock, I had to take him out. And then he woke me up again at 10 o'clock, I had to take him out. And he woke me up at 1 o'clock, I had to take him out. So I was like piecing together sleep. I'm like, alright, I'll sleep for an hour and a half, then I'll sleep for an hour and a half, then I'll sleep for an hour and a half. That's so not a good way to sleep. It was not a good way to sleep. Not ideal. Are you done with the mud bus, buddy? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I hope so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... They, all the, a lot of the sites I, I saw recommend not feeding him for, uh a few like for almost a day like 24 hours they said because you want to fast so that it gives their stomach time to heal that sounds like it is scientific i don't know oh biscuits what are we eating man i don't know man what, what's uh what sounds good we haven't had tacos in a while maybe you haven't well i actually had tacos the other night wow but, you know, they're different kinds of tacos. Is anything about this friendship not a lie? <laughs> the answer is no, just to be clear. All right, so what we don't have is four mana. So I'm actually going to... We're going to no attacks here. End me turn. I mean, to be fair, tacos are always a pretty decent decision. They're also on the cheap today, so. Well, I mean. You're right, we'll get as cheap as possible. Just go to 7-Eleven and get sandwiches. That'll be 
like four dollars. Boom, done. Oh, cool. Now we can sack this guy to to our to our final payment. Or actually, we can do it to this guy if we want. Yeah, let's. We're not. Ooh. -wee. I bet final payment kills a guy. <laughs> you ain't wrong. That's what that's what I always say. Spire Mangler and Blood Mist Infiltratiario. Those are not how you pronounce either of those words. Um, I don't think we want... Well, actually, we have all the lands we could want. I guess we want the Spire Mangler's fine. We can put this guy on the bottom. I really just don't want you to block this guy. Or block with this guy, rather. Yeah, so final payment is destroy a creature as an additional cost. You may pay five life. Sac pay five life. Uh, sack a creature or an enchantment. No attacks here. Just go find your local Taco Bell. No one wins. Taco Bell's not even that cheap. Oh, you put another one on this guy? My god. Let's just play this and win with this thing. Like, you guys wanted me to. What if we actually win on the mold of, like, four with ill-gotten inheritance? This card's, this card's on trash. They love it, but it's on trash. That seems not great. I don't know how it is, actually. I have no idea. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. You get a 1-1 one, one floaty boy. Afterlife is a really good ability. It is really good. <laughs> wow, that was really loud. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that, cat? We just had a Taco Bell open here in London, and I'm super scared to try it. Is it safe, or is it just death and crime? It's safe, but it's also, like... It's not top tier, obviously. It's the lowest tier Mexican food you can get. So this guy can just... I can easily sacrifice this guy because he's not doing anything for us. It's... Although some people have weak stomachs to it, so you could be in for a bad time depending on how how you... how you, I don't know how your normal Mexican food experience goes for you. Are tacos like super rare in London? Do they not like have Mexican food over there? They might be rare in in Europe in general. I don't want to block any of these guys. This is really bad. I think this guy's gonna really take over the game. Oh, they do go to 15. It's, I don't know how they beat that. All right, well that guy's pretty okay. Oh uh, yeah. Sure, give himself plus plus two plus. Two. Actually, I don't. I don't hate that. They're gonna counter, I'm sure. <sighs> like you do, like you do. Oh yeah, do that. We have lots of Mexican food, but our main chain was opened by a Master Chef winner, so it's generally kind of yeah. That sounds yeah. That sounds about right. It's five star Mexican food. Yeah, they don't have access to the cheap Mexican food unless you want to go to Taco Bell, I guess, which is not which you don't. You don't you want don't, it. You don't really want to do that. You should hmm. probably just not do that. I would recommend as well. Then again, I feel like you should have one time experienced the bell in your life. The bell. But you gotta be you gotta be <laughs> super drunk and it's gotta be like four to six AM. Experience the bell. Actually I don't think they're past open test four AM. So make it at four AM. Right as they're closing, so they'll be mad at you. Kill sneak? I just don't like they have seven cards in their hand. I don't think Sneak is gonna win the game. I think Azorius Skyguard is more of a threat to us at the moment. Yeah, 
Dude, how is he gonna race your enchantment? He's totally dead. He's only got 11 turns. Well, oh, well, now he gets two more. Yeah, I'm like you guys. I'm not sold on this. Everyone really hyping that up. If this is yeah, like four people in the chat were like, you should play it. It's really good. You seems like it. a four mana do nothing to me. It seems dirtily af. Like if it was like two a turn, you gain two. Then yeah, we're gonna go next game. I just went to spray deodorant on my toothbrush. Time for bed. That is that is usually when I get to. That's when I when I tell as well. Justicia's portal is nice because it blinks the um, the the pacifisms that they have. I mean, if we don't mold a four, I think we're okay. I think the ill gotten gains out. Probably just play another one. Exposed to daylight could also be good, but yeah, actually, it's fine. But this is also good at other things too, so maybe that's the correct play. Or we just play drill bit. I actually kind of like drill bit. I'll take a one portal and one expose. Yeah, I feel like our deck. I don't think ill-gotten. In yeah, the the problem with ill-gotten inheritance, I don't think it's good in in single player games. In like uh, against the Orzov deck is what I mean. Like because they're going to be gaining incremental life. In criminal, they're going to be gaining in criminal life. Did you know there was a whole like eight part series about uh, Jake Paul on YouTube by like Shane Dawson? No. Like a really like well done documentary series. He did an eight part one on him? Damn. It's insane. I had no idea. They're all like 40 minutes long too. I don't really watch Shane Dawson though. So. Well, neither do I, but I was like, if it's really well done, I think Jake Paul is fascinating enough to watch like a... Anyway, I thought it was interesting. I, I put them all on the watch list, so if you want to check them out later. Dane Bramage, what's going on, buddy? All right, we're hitting a lands here, which is very, very nice. I'm a fan. Oh, see, I can see Inheritance being great with Spectacle because it just triggers automatically every turn. Uh, sure. I'm actually tempted to just kill this guy. Fascinating. 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 So I'm pretty sure we just play this guy with no kick. They're just gonna squelch. They're gonna quench it. Quelch it. Squelch it. What's your uh, record so far? Five, four, one. So we either we either lose this round, we go four two and it's over, or we go five, one and it's over. So. Uh, I go for the five one personally. I don't think I want to actually. We can actually decline this, and we actually have portal, so that if we draw land, we can blink this guy at a later date. I, I'd like to go for the five one, sure. That is my preferred choice. Oh look, it's it's humongous what? <laughs> humongous. Humongous what? <laughs> oh lord. Hmm. I'd love a fifth land, but I don't want to get too greedy. Oh, no attacks. End the turn, sure. That's a good one. That's a good card. Just a windmill slam this thing. 
for the advantages. No attacks. For the advantages. For, for the advantages. How do you ever beat a 2 5 with hexproof? Uh, you just ignore it. It doesn't do anything. That card's obnoxious. Creatures we control get neg 1, neg 0. Wow, on a creature? Jesus, that's really good. Next turn, you can play both of these, which is nice because this guy lets you sack a creature uh, when you attack, and this, when you when it dies, you obviously get two one ones. And if you sack a creature, it gets unblockable. Okay. But okay. But excuse me. Wow, this is a lot of things you're doing here. I would like some some multicolor cards so we can trigger our our tome of the guild guild pact. But you know. And Hey, look at that. That's a gold card. We can also play Ministrant into Final Payment, which is nice. Excuse me. You know my life. I think just kill this. Now in an attack. I don't want to go to blocks, just to be clear. Don't let them block. I don't want... Nope, didn't want you to do that. Well, that's not really where we wanted to... Yep, definitely wanted to be able to announce my attacker. That's not how it works around here, boy. Apparently not. You just pay five. Um... No, we'll sack a creature. I'm sorry, what's happening right now? What's going on? Cancel. Okay, hold on. Play this. Sacrifice a creature. Target a creature of this guy. Sack this. Alright, there we go. Yeah, didn't want it. Didn't want that to happen. They should be at ten right now. So if we lose and your opponent's at two, we'll it's know gonna why. be real bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care about that. I'm actually tempted to portal this guy. Actually, I'm definitely portaling this guy and blocking. Then they can tap it. Let's see if they see it. They might not see it. Oh no, we, we actually pump one of these guys and then block. That's even better. Sure. Wow, that turn ended real poorly, unfortunately. Draw a card. It's a quality, quality feature. Oh, look at that. Yeah, coming back with first strike would have been great, but then they, it would have been a 4-1, so they could have tapped it down with the guild mage. So I'd rather just give the uh, the buff to one of the guys. Wow, attacking for one, huh? A bold aggressive. That's a pretty good draw. Yep, and we get to draw a card off of it. Oh, it's God. It's like the best draw in your deck, probably. Card's utterly insane. Yeah, you got it. One, two, three. Seems good. Yep, that ain't gonna do anything. Oh, three, three lands and a drill bit? Sure, I don't want any of those cards. Take him away. Oh, that was just, let me get a little peek -see, and then I'll scoop. I mean, Ethereal Absolution's a rare, so I'm not, like, super concerned with its, uh, you know, stuff and things. 
I think we're fine like this. I'm good with it. I feel like the one hindrance that we've had in this in this draft is just not hitting our land drops at the right time. Uh, definitely keeping this hand. It's almost the perfect ratio. If we can hit a two drop, well, that's kind of like a two drop, but not really. Give me one of my life gainy boys. Well, that's not the that's not the one I was referring to. Yeah, you had to specify. I, I did. It's like, oh, lifeline guy. Here you go. Well, that's not what I meant, but I appreciate it. Something to actually just kill this guy. Like them having nothing on. Yeah, because like, well, this guy draws them a card every time they attack. If it's not blocked, and if they play a gate, it's unblockable. So. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. Like I just don't feel like having it. Like I just see one three and and I don't care either. But if they go gate, which they did, then they get to draw an extra card. So I'd rather just not have them like go crazy with this guy. This card's obnoxious. Yeah, trading with that seems bad. Uh, let's go no attacks. Okay, that's enough lands. I'm good on the lands. I appreciate it, though. No attack with the 1-3? Hmm. Was that 2-1 out flying? No. It is that. Uh, I don't want either of these, actually. Actually, what are they at? 20? Yeah, I don't care about this guy. Mm, no attacks. High alert. Oh, that's something. It makes them attack with their butts. Yeah, I got you already. Nope, don't want that there. I mean, they saw multiple Spire Manglers from us, which is probably why they didn't attack. Well, we didn't have Flyers at the time, so I don't actually know. Yep, that guy's obnoxious, but now we have 5-5 five, five at least, so. You got it. Come on, let's draw a Theal Absolution one time off the top. Oh, I thought it was it. I was like, I got real excited for a second. What's that thing do? It's just a 5-5 five five with uh, Hexproof from not from Monocolored. They have one card and we just have a... Like, if they get rid of this, like, all of our other guys are so much better. Yes, that's actually perfect. Sure. All right. Well, we just gotta race this floater boy. Oh, they didn't attack. Never mind. There is no race. There is no race. Well, the problem is they can triple block here. Yeah, but. I mean, if they want to block here, then they don't actually have enough to kill this guy, so it's whatever. I'm saving this guy in case we draw Tome, and then we just get to draw an extra card. Like, he doesn't do anything on the board. I'm not going to run it into here. 
But we also have, like, infinite time thanks to Sphinx of the Guild Pact. That's also good. Like, this card's gonna be real hard to deal with unless they have, like, final payment. This is actually really strong. Hold on. So we can easily block, and then we have Summary Judgment if they try to... Oh, they can untap their creatures with that card, too. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, it costs four mana, but... Wow, this is such a blowout if it goes through. Sure. Oh my god, it was not a blowout. <sighs> wow, that was brutal. I forgot the untap. You literally just I literally mentioned just it. just talked about it. That's pretty brutal. Yeah, I don't feel like we can attack here. I mean, we have we have time at least. I don't feel like they have <laughs> an eight eight. You uh, say that's a big dude. You're right. I think this game just really changed. How does that eight eight work? Uh, it can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less. Whenever a gate enters the battlefield, you can put it from your graveyard on top of your library. Just mm -hmm. finished the Vine Vestation. I love the changes, and I'm pumped to try it out. Finding out my first name is Hunter, and the first working videos are about Hunter having diarrhea. I was very confused until I remembered the... That's hilarious. Reeves, glad you thought so, man. I really had a good time playing it. I really appreciate the support with that. Yeah, we're just going to have to play this now. Of course, if we draw Tome, it's going to be rough. But, like, we're basically dead because we can't block this. And then we take nine and go to th three. Ugh. I mean, because I mean, like, of this, I don't even feel like ethereal. Like, consign would be great. <sighs> Drill bit. Wow. I think we're just dead, right? Well, we take eight, I guess. Wow. All right. So that was just setting us up to draw ethereal. Ad God, we're going to go four, two. This is so sad. One diarrhea buck. Wow. Oh, they got to untap. I totally forgot. Like, wow, I'm just going to run myself into this, this ability. Yep, that's pretty bad. Just double untap their guys. Wow, we're terrible at this game. Nope, you can block here because I don't want to die. We go to three. Nothing we can really draw here, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually... Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> All right, gain eight and survive, I guess. Still need some draws here, though. Come on, enchantment one time. You went on and you doubled up, but you need to double up again. We go to three, and then if we play enchantment, we can kill this. They have a two-two, we can make a two-two. And then we'd only go to two. <sighs> no. Wow, yep, all right, so. Yep, we tried. It was a good run. What can you do? Magic is hard. Frank chat, Mike Doggo's throwing coming. I made a frozen pizza for my wife while she was on her way home tonight. She got home as I took it out of the oven. I then went back to work and, and heard, oh shit, what is this? From the living room. Concerned, I run to everything is okay. Is that a fucking tick on Lily, our dog? I look closely and rub the object off the dog. Nope, just the flavored crust seasoning I made for your pizza that I somehow dropped on our dog. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this a tick? No, it's just flavored crust. Don't worry about it. 4-2, still not bad. 1,800, which is more than a draft. And five packs, which is pretty good. So let's let's bust these packs. Smothering Tithe. Immolation Shaman with the short arms. Is there a long arm version? Maybe. Oh, two smothering tides. Wow. Like you do. Lumbering battlement. 
It's kind of like a, kind of like Mike B, lumbering Mike Beetlemint. Mythic, Cinder Vines. That's card. Card's actually fine. And that's the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe button. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. As long as the link, as as well as the link to uh, meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, you'll get fifteen percent off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, you can go to tw go to Twitch and give me a sub or a follow on there if you want to keep apprised of my streams. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Really appreciate the support.